Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, happy October 1st. Uh, welcome to this launch of Breast Cancer Awareness Month for 2019. I want to acknowledge the presence of our dignitaries, uh, John White, President and CEO of BFNM, uh, First Lady Kristen Burt, who's also a patron for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Junior Minister of Health, uh, Senator Jason Hayward. The theme for this year's Breast Cancer Awareness Month is, hey, breast cancer, let me tell you something. So the team at Bermuda Cancer and Health Center have something to say to breast cancer. We want breast cancer to know that the center will continue to provide world-class early detection screening to find breast cancer at its earliest stages when it's easier to treat. The center will continue to make sure that everyone in our community has access to breast screening services at no additional charge to patients. In 2018, thanks to donations from our community to our Equal Access Fund, 222 women were able to receive mammograms at the center that they otherwise would not have been able to afford. And the fund also assisted with the cost of biopsies and radiation therapy treatment for those without health insurance. We also want breast cancer to know that we are empowering women and men to recognize the signs and symptoms of breast cancer through a new breast health education program, Know Your Lemons. In collaboration with the global education partner behind the Know Your Lemons campaign, we now have staff who are trained to provide interactive, hands-on Know Your Lemons presentations. This campaign is a colorful addition to our breast health education programs, highlighting risk factors, symptoms, and screening guidelines. Most importantly, presentations are free and they can be requested through our website, www.chc.bm. So with those short remarks, I now want to welcome John White to the podium to give his presentation. John. Thank you, Lynn. <clears throat> Mrs. Burt, Senator Hayward, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. BFNM is delighted to be partnering with Bermuda Cancer and Health Center to launch Breast Cancer Awareness Month and to prepare for the 23rd annual BFNM Breast Cancer Awareness Walk. We are honored to welcome Mrs. Bird here today and we thank her for her continued patronage of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Initiatives like Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the walk all help in the fight against the prevention, detection, and treatment of cancer. As the leading healthcare provider in Bermuda, we at BFNM are committed to playing our part in promoting wellness in the community and encouraging people to take control of their own health. In addition to the walk, BFNM will once again host a preventative health fair that will feature healthcare professionals and vendors providing free information about how individuals can be proactive about their well being. One of the events that we especially love at BFNM is the School Spirit Award. The School Spirit Award was created a few years ago to encourage the young people in our community to participate in the walk and to learn about the prevention, detection, um, and cure someday of cancer. The top three schools that raise the most funds throughout the month will receive prizes of $1,500 for first, $1,000 for second, and $500 for third. Another part of the evening that's so special for us is the survivor's celebration and ceremony. We encourage everyone to remain on after the walk to share in this moving event. At this point, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Lynn Woolridge and her wonderful staff at the Bermuda Cancer and Health for the great work that they do in our community. Thank you all, and we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, October 16th at 6 p.m. at Bars Bay for the 23rd annual BFNM Breast Cancer Awareness Walk. Thank you. Good afternoon, and thank you all for being here today. Uh, first, I would like to thank uh, Lynn Woolridge and the team at Bermuda Cancer and Health for the opportunity to partner again um, as honorary patron for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
besides the work they do year round to provide early detection, radiation treatment support, care, and education for cancer, they throw a lot of great events in the month of October. I love the theme that they've chosen this year, hate breast cancer, let me tell you something. It's perfect for Bermuda, as I haven't met too many people in Bermuda who won't tell you exactly what they think if given the opportunity. So this is what I'm telling breast cancer. You won't catch me slipping. This year will be the first year that I get screened for breast cancer, and I will commit to getting myself screened annually because I owe it to myself, to my children, my husband, and the rest of my family and my friends to take care of myself in this way. Um, Bermuda Cancer and Health Center has made it very easy for me. I actually went online last night to request my appointment uh, for my first screening, and I have already received a call back to confirm that appointment. So I encourage everyone to take advantage of this service. It's too easy not to do. Even if it's not your time to get screened for breast cancer, there are lots of ways to get involved this month. At tonight's Cancer Talk, we can all learn about the impact of breast cancer in our community and preventive steps we can all take. Spoiler alert, one of those preventive steps is to exercise regularly, and the Breast Cancer Awareness Walk on October 16th is a great opportunity for us to get moving. I'll pause now also to thank John White and his team at BFNM for their continued sponsorship of the walk. Each year it gets better and better, and I can't wait to see what you've got lined up for us this year. Even if you're not up for the walk, you can always throw on some pink with your jeans this Friday or any day that works for you for a wear it pink denim day. And of course, we have the opportunity to arrange a girls night in and donate the money that we might have spent on a night out to the Bermuda Cancer and Health Center. So I'll thank you all in advance for your support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and look forward to seeing you around. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I thank you for this opportunity to provide remarks on the launch of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This year's theme, Hey Breast Cancer, let me tell you something. So in that vein, I'll speak directly to breast cancer and tell you how in the not too distant future, science and advances in medicine will make sure you are nothing but a memory. In 2018, there were 64 new cases of cancer in Bermuda. We will continue practicing, practicing preventative health measures and using mammography as the gold standard to ensure that cancer is detected early so our women have a chance to survive. The women in our community must continue to receive regular screenings and we urge women over 40 or with a family history who have never been screened or have missed the regular screenings to contact their doctor immediately to schedule it. The statistics in Bermuda indicate that one in eight women will be told in their lifetime that they have breast cancer. For this reason, regular screenings and quality care is vital to improving outcomes. Early detention of breast cancer is important because if breast cancer is found early, there are more treatment options and a better chance of survival. The American Cancer Society continues to recommend that on average, women should begin screening at age 40 or earlier if there is a family history. Of the 64 new cases that occurred in Bermuda in 2018, five occurred in women below the age of 40. So depending on family history, some individuals may need to begin regular screenings even earlier. With this in mind, we should make it a point to inform all our mothers daughters, sisters, aunts, and friends to get regular screenings. It is important to note that you don't have to wait until you reach screening age to start learning about cancer. All adults should begin educating themselves and taking, talking to their physicians to learn what tests are right for them and take necessary precautions now to lower the risk of cancer. With that said, I recognize that many in our community cannot afford or will find it challenging to pay for health care and the testing needed to detect breast cancer. With this in mind, I want to thank the Bermuda Cancer and Health Center who believe that everyone should have access to health care. 
Their equal access fund helps to subsidize the cost of health care at their center. The fund helps everyone in our community, regardless of their level of health insurance or ability to pay, to access their services, which include screening mammography, 3D and digital mammography, breast biopsies, and radiation therapy. I would also like to thank you, the community, who make the funds for these services possible through your many generous donations. Hey, breast cancer, let me tell you something. You tried to take my mom, but you failed. And we will continue to fight so that you will never take another life again. With that said, I now officially proclaim Breast Cancer Awareness Month 2019 to have commenced. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your kind words. Uh, it's now officially Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I have some gifts to hand out. I love this part. So, Mrs. Burt, here's your pretty bag. Let me tell you something. John, here's yours. Thank you, Lynn. And Minister. Here you go. I feel like a little red riding hood. <laughs> and so, I assume you'd like to get a picture of everyone. Where would you like us to uh, stand? <laughs> 